I was checking out this dude's video recently. Young Buck working on his first engine, allegedly. But what he done and what many others out there do is if Bauma set a cheap heads off of eBay pre-assembled you know, get a hell of a deal on them you know I've seen them for like 600 bucks for a pair of fucking heads that are assembled allegedly ready to bolt on but that ain't the fucking case I mean you if your shit is extremely mild and you might luck out and win the fucking laundry and bolt a pair on and be fine but if you're buying them imports straight from long duck dong straight from the east and take them out of the package and bolt them on your shit you're taking a hell of a chance for one thing which the fucking castings ain't the problem the castings have gotten way better over the years. Hell, they've gotten good enough. There's American companies using import cast, you know, cores to build their fucking heads with. So, the cores are solid. They've got their shit together in that department. But where they're saving their money at, where they're making the money at, is the shit in them heads and fucking valve springs that come in them heads like a pair of $600 Speedmaster heads or some shit you put them fuckers on a pressure tester you know you might have shit 60 pounds fucking closed you know, at a 1.8 installed height and 1.15 open, you know, at a 1.300, you know, weaker than fucking water. Not to mention them cheap ass springs are made out of fucking recycled Pepsi, you know, whatever the fuck they're made out of, pop cans, whatever it may be. Shitty, shitty metal. And then the valves are also suspect as a motherfucker. You know, these stainless steel valves, allegedly. But I've seen some of them valves after they were put into actual use for a period of time. And then see them come out have big fucking chunks out of the valves and shit and tuliped you know from where they're pulling in the fucking head from excess valve spring pressure you know, they're just cheap motherfuckers and they shouldn't be trusted with anything more than some extremely mild shit and then you don't know if the fuckers are gonna seal or not you know, so you still got that. And then they use cheap ass fucking valve stem seals, shit like that. And they just cheap retainers, cheap fucking locks. And every fucking thing they put in them cheap heads is cheap, the cheapest shit they could find that would put a head together. So, what a person should do if you're going to buy a pair of imported heads, you should buy them bare. And then buy valves, suitable valves. You should buy some good valve springs, you know, whatever, depending on what kind of cam you're using, should determine what valve springs 
you decide to use, but use a good proven company's shit, you know, like, you know, for example, PSI, made in the good old US of A, you can't go wrong with their shit. These particular springs here, they're 220 pounds at 2 inch install height and 560 pounds open with a 690 lift or a 681, 692 lift cam on these bastards. Those are PSI titanium retainers plus 100. And that kind of shit you gotta be careful too because there's different sorts of locks. You can get confused on that. You know, you traditionally got your 7 degree locks and your badass shit usually uses your 10 degree locks. But there's what's called a Super 7 lock. That's what these use. And what a Super 7 lock is, is actually an 8 degree lock. But it's, they're real fucking thick. It's a 7 degree lock that's thicker than most 10 degree locks. It's what they use in hardcore shit these days and you gotta make sure and get the with your locks you got your square type bead you know and then you got your round type in your lock to match your valve whether you got the bead lock type or your square type valves you want to make sure all that shit matches up but these take them super 7 locks and they're like $120 a fucking set for Iski which is the ones I'm going with these are going in a small block Chevy they're a 1475 diameter PSI spring endurance series on a 2 inch installed height. Of course, be using manly valves and shit. Comp valve seals and blah blah blah, you know. That's what you want to get. You don't want to trust your engine to them. That Chinese fucking shit that comes in them cheap heads. You fucking, them springs won't last no time. They ain't got no pressure. You'll run into valve float at 4,500 RPM if you're lucky. The fucker don't break. You'll break a head off a valve and destroy your fucking engine just because you saved a few bucks. So, sometimes it's better to spend the fucking money where it counts. You know, there's a lot of import head cores out there that are pretty decent fucking heads. But make sure you fill them full of good shit. Because that's what really matters. You don't want your fucking valve train coming apart on you and destroying your brand new fucking engine. So. But. So I was. Just thinking about this dude's video where he took a pair of DNA aluminum heads assembled straight out of the fucking box and took the plastic off of them and bolted them straight on his fucking engine and there were 
there's so much wrong going on there, wouldn't begin to know where to start. But you live and you learn, I guess. But there's just a few words of wisdom from a motherfucker who's been there. Shit.